an investigation at a Dixon Middle School after a racist post on social media. A photo of 20 staff and students, all black and biracial, with a racist caption. Thanks so much for joining us at 5 o'clock. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Curtis Ming. CBS 13's Massive Kiwi is live in Dixon at John Knight Middle School with an explanation from the district. Well, the superintendent has condemned this post, but community activists that I talked to say the damage on these students' mental health may already be done. A seventh grader at John Knight Middle School posted a photo of 20 people, students, and at least one staff member, all African American or biracial, according to the Dixon Unified School District. The photo was posted to Instagram with a racist caption. The Dixon superintendent condemned the post and said there's an investigation. Adding, quote, it is not possible to describe the devastating impact that this post will have on members of our school community and many people outside it. Why is there no zero tolerance for racism in schools? The Education Committee chair for the Greater Sacramento NAACP said they get plenty of calls on issues just like this. Reference to monkeys and gorillas, those things are very egregious. And it's not just happening with the African American community and with black students, it's also happening in other communities. The NAACP has restorative justice programs where students who behave like the Dixon Middle Schooler volunteer with the NAACP to learn about the struggles of African Americans past and present. But educators have to connect with community organizations to make that happen. And it's getting out of hand, and there needs to be accountability, and the schools need to fix it. Tonight, the Dixon Unified School District has their bi monthly board meeting in the next hour. This subject likely to be discussed.